Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here before you watch this footage from this video or watch this video and I kind of just wanted to explain quickly because I was kind of editing and I don't really know if I ever talked about this in a video before. But basically for um, I student taught first semester both of my placements because I signed up for a in, an internship that was through the district that I had my second placement with and you or we thought that we were just going to be with our CT that we had our second placement with um I'm trying to explain this like quickly rather than the long version that I filmed earlier but we thought that we were just going to be with our CT and then it was like a week before Christmas break started, we got a call, me and my friend both got a call basically offering for us to take over a kindergarten class that needed a teacher because their teacher was leaving and they wanted us to do it together obviously since we're still um, in college and this is just like an internship but we're getting paid which is pretty cool. It's a paid internship obviously. Um, so we both accepted because we both really enjoy kindergarten and we both see ourselves like in the future when we get a real job in, a, in kindergarten. So we both accepted and this footage is basically just us going in, seeing our classroom, getting things a little bit set up. Uh, we went in a couple days during Christmas break so you'll see that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to get on and kind of explain it really quick because, like I said, I didn't think that in any other vlogs that I posted, I didn't think that I really explained Another thing, that. these clips, as I'm um, editing more and more, I am just realizing are kind of all over the place. Like, one day it just shows, like, a little bit of footage and the next day it's just a little bit of footage again so it's a little bit all over the place but just some clips that I got from setting up our classroom so I tried to cut out all of like me just sitting there talking for extended periods of time so it kind of just goes from like one random clip to another so I hope you guys enjoy so just keep watching hello guys it is Friday morning I'm on my way to go meet some people at this school that I'm going to be teaching at after Christmas break and see my classroom. So excited. Um, I just, I can't wait. I brought some stuff. I honestly don't really know like what, Marie and I don't really know what we're going to be needing in our classroom, anything like that. So we just both brought a couple things that we thought we might be able to use if we need these things. So I mean, I basically brought, like, my whole collection of stuff that I have for my classroom. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it is a little bit later, around like 5.30. I just got back from the dollar store and this place called Ollie's by my house. Um, I'll show you quickly what I got. I bought these and I just picked up two of them. I got these pink ones and these blue ones but i just thought they were a little cute like pencil holder and stuff like that that i could have and three for one which is a pretty good deal i got this card that we're gonna mail our stepbrother's christmas um or his gift card to him and it just says marion bright it's just a super little card but i thought it was cute so i got it and then i saw this and I have a plan. I'm obviously not didn't buy it for that. Uh, I'm going to paint it and put something on it, and it's going to be a sign for our classroom. So it's only a dollar, so I just decided to pick it up. And I like this like wooden piece up here, so I'm just gonna paint this, and I'll show you guys when it's done. Hey guys, I just got out of Marshall's. Ooh, it's chilly. I'm drinking this energy drink. I got 
my friends that I'm co-teaching with this mug that says teacher. Uh, so I think that's pretty cute. People are watching me. Uh, I just got this little bag. Oh gosh, now there are more people. I got this little bag to put her gifts in. I'm gonna go get um, some M&Ms for her. And then I just got me this one that says be kind and it says be kind on both sides. Um, my friend then gets me this one, this mug that says teaching is a work of heart. So that is really cute. Hey guys, so I'm in my classroom, our classroom alone. My co-teacher, my friend, she just went to get some lunch. Um, and our IA is outside with a small group now. I'm gonna just quickly show you a couple things that we've been doing today. Um, I haven't really been like filming at all with my friend in here just because I haven't told her that I have a YouTube channel yet. So I'm gonna show you some stuff we've done today. Basically, I have just a big pile of books because the only book bins we have are these. We have to get more, but we kind of separated it into piles. We made book labels today. Put up this new alphabet. Um, I kind of want to get something like that spray so we can spray it so the glare's not on there. Um, we have, we made that with all of our students' names. Uh, let's see, we just cut out some stuff. Like I said, our labels, um, we just did this. So we're going to laminate these and then say morning, afternoon. I love our sight word wall. I loved how all this turned out. Um, I just did this. We need to do that back there. I really don't like the birthday thing. Um, maybe I'll eventually get something and like switch it out because I just don't really like that. Um, but I don't really have the money right now to get anything else. I think we're going to leave this stuff up on the walls. We have a new calendar, but we're just finishing that one until tomorrow. Um, here's our little Thursday to-do list. That's some stuff we think we're going to put up. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. Um, right now it's 5.03. I am on my way to Midwill. And then I have a couple other places I have to run. But at Goodwill, I'm looking for, like, a bookcase because we need somewhere in our room to store our place and her stuff and we have like a bunch of bins that have our place and her stuff in them um, and before they were in I think they were in a cabinet but we are changing it up so we're looking for somewhere else to put them Hey guys, I did not find anything that I needed to buy at Goodwill. There was a rocking chair and I really want to get a rocking chair for my future classroom. But, I mean it was 25 bucks so it really wasn't that expensive. But first off, I don't really have the space for it right now. I don't need it necessarily like in my classroom right now. Um, and I want to like get one and paint it white. So, I just don't really have the space for it, and I don't really have the extra money either to just be buying a rocking chair. Um, so, that kind of is annoying. If I had more space for it, I'd get it. Um, and then there just weren't really any shelves. I mean, I could buy a new one from Target that's like 25 bucks. They're the room essential one, so they're not really very expensive. I have one in my room, but... I like made like a makeshift thing with another shelf thing and it holds like my Cricut up and like that's where I store all my craft stuff so I just don't really feel like taking that thing apart and using that for my classroom. Hi guys, good morning. It is Wednesday. It's about 9.30. I'm heading over to my classroom now. 
Um, yesterday, I don't even think I ended up, because by the time I was done shopping, it was just too dark, so I never talked to you all again, but I got two three-tier drawers, and then I ended up finding book bins that were pretty good colors at, at the dollar store, so I picked those up. They had like a pink color, but I decided just to get these colors, and they are going to be here. And on the other side of that, um, we're going to have different, like, the three tier drawers here. And then probably more over here. We need to do something to fix that up. It's just not going to be enough space. So I think that we're just going to extend it over a little bit and pull it down. We need to do this. We need to figure out something for storage for this stuff. Um, pretty much. Oh, we did organize our cabinets. So now this one is all math and then like some science stuff. And this one is all of our literacy stuff. So yeah. So put like our um supplies over here. I wish we had matching um bins, but for now it's okay. Um and then this just this is all kind of just like information or like worksheets and stuff, but she keeps them in binders, which I kind of like. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. We might move that and that. This is gonna be our small group station. So we're gonna put like some small group stuff back there. And then like I said, like this is gonna be for small groups as well. Like stuff. We have to put these away. These, I don't know what we're doing with them. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and it's like around 10 30 but I'm just sitting up in Colin's room doing some work to prepare for tomorrow. I am going into school into my classroom to film some videos for the next week like our first week back after break that is virtual so basically next week for math we're not doing our curriculum we're just doing numbers 21 through 30 so like monday we're just going to be reviewing 21 through 30 with songs that are on youtube they're from a lady named heidi I haven't really watched any of her videos yet, but they all have been using it all year long and the kids enjoy them, stuff like that. So we're going to continue to use them, but then throughout the week, we're going to introduce or they're going to do something like this. So like Monday or Tuesday, they're going to do 21, 22, and 23. And this is the 10 frame train. So they're going to obviously just put... Um, like up here it says that it's number 21 and then they are going to I might take away that up there because I put in this down here while they'll practice writing so they'll see that it's 21 with that but they'll like show us how to draw 21 uh, with like circles in the tin frame so they'll do like 21 22 and 23 on Tuesday uh, 24, 25, 26 on Wednesday, and then the last four on Thursday, and then they will just, um, on Friday, we are just going to review all of the numbers again, and then they'll practice writing them more. So, these are the plans for the 4th through the 8th, and we wash our sheets, so that's why they're not, I just haven't put them back on yet. But these are the plans. These are phonics through writing. And then um, on this side, we have math and science, which we still really haven't planned for. 
but we need to figure something out soon because we do it tomorrow. Uh, well, we have to film videos tomorrow. But for phonics, we like first day we introduce our words, our lot, not, and was are all of our sight words, and then are and was are the power words. So these are the ones that we like test over. So we'll like introduce words, use Heidi songs, worksheets. It's like a film, the missing letter for the sight words, which is here. So like at the very the first one, it shows all the words or all the letters, and then they end up like filling in letters. And then um, Tuesday would be Jack Cartman videos. They don't have one for lot, I believe. Yeah, R and lot are Tuesday's words, so we'll just show a Jack Hartman video of R, um, and then R and lot workbook pages. And then Wednesday, our letters and sounds for the week are H and L, so we'll do a worksheet practicing H and L. Um, and then, like, we'll practice writing those, and then we'll practice words, like, starting with H and L. Thursday is a Jack Hartman video of not and was, and then a workbook page, and then Friday practicing CBC H and L, stretching and writing each word, and then a workbook page, and then reading. Um, our curriculum is HMH, so we basically just follow that um, for the full week. Like we start with a little book, ask questions, do a big book. Uh, practice like print concepts, vocab, stuff like that, and then just like ask the questions throughout when we're supposed to, and then Friday we get to do like a fun book. Um, writing, we are practicing capitalization, um, punctuation, using finger space, neat writing, um, making sentence make sense, so those are like the five stars of writing. For these two days we're doing like a seek and find, that's what I'm working on now, so Monday it'll be like they're finding the uppercase letters and then uh, Tuesday they're just going to be looking for like the punctuation so they'll like I think we're gonna say like circle all the question marks in red circle all the circle all the exclamation points in yellow circle all the periods and blue something like that um, so that's for Monday and Tuesday for writing and then um, yeah, so this day is like using finger spacing, so we'll model good versus bad, uh, neat writing again, good versus bad, um, making sentence make sense, so we're gonna figure something out for that, and then, um, like, making sure that, or we'll review all five, and then an assignment, um, where they have to make sure they include all five. So then, for math, like I said, we are just reviewing 21 through 23. So, um, we'll introduce all of the 20s through 30, 21 through 30, um, practice writing, um, then we split the numbers up, um, we'll show Heidi videos, and then the very last day we'll review all three, practice writing, or review all of the numbers, and then we'll practice writing all of the numbers, so pretty much done planning and have everything else I believe at like we have um all of our phonics activities done I'm pretty sure um and then reading they don't really have to do activities to go we just have to film videos and then we kind of just need to figure something out for science it's weather so I kind of have like some ideals of what we can do but I'm not really sure so we're gonna have to figure that out tomorrow Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I'm heading to school right now to get some videos done for next week and then we'll probably just do like a couple other things in our classroom. Overall, it's pretty set up, which is good. We have, I think, like really most everything done that we need done. Um, I'm getting excited. Um, I'm also getting like nervous because it's just becoming more real that we're about to start and it's going to be our own classroom. Guys, I just wanted to quickly say good morning. Um, it's Saturday around 9 o'clock. I'm heading into school. We decided to come in today because we still needed to get some small group stuff done. So we were just like, we're going to come in today and try to figure it out. 
so we're gonna say like nine to noon probably um i just got here i'm about to head in um my k teacher my friend is not here yet but whenever she gets here she'll come in and we'll just start doing our stuff i got taco bell breakfast there's a taco bell literally like two seconds away from my school so that's gonna be horrible i don't really even like like taco bell like regular food that much but their breakfast is really good they have these like crunch wrap things which are really good so um it's gonna be dangerous and then there's like a rallies and arby's and a subway like literally all right there so i'm just gonna have to remember to bring my food just so i don't stop there every morning but i am just gonna head in and i will talk to you guys later if we do anything fun there's literally nobody here so i don't really need to put a mask on but it just feels weird not going in with the mask christmas for my grandma and grandpa i got this bag and it's ka and key but i really really like it um it's really spacious and it actually has water bottle pockets on like my old one um so i really liked the pattern on my old one but i feel like it just wasn't big enough so i'm really excited about this me this um it's the K Mini, so I really like it. And we already have a stash of mugs down here. So this one was already here. This one my friend got me that I'm teaching with. This one Colin got me, it's really funny and cute. This one I just brought in. And then I already have two things of coffee. Got me this like reusable thing. I brought in my big thing of a creamer. And then I just have these two little things from Target Dollar Spot. Ten, ten drawer cart. And I just did two Monday through Fridays. I don't know if I want to make like sections down there of like to copy to file stuff like that. But for now, I just made them Monday through Friday. And we just laminated them and then just taped them on. But everything's looking pretty good. Um, got that back wall done. Hey guys, so I left school and all that stuff. We got a good amount of, well basically we're finished with our small group planning. We just really did not know what to do with our lowest group. So, honestly, next week we probably will just be going over letter sounds and letters with them because that is really what they need to work on. So, just what, like, we're technically supposed to be doing with them, like, we're blending on sets and rhymes um, and stuff like that, and they're just not ready for it. So, that is school stuff. I ran into Target because I saw this pillow on Instagram and I found it. This was the only one that they had at my Target. Um, and I knew that they didn't have it at the one by Colin's house. So I'm really excited that I got this. Um, I love this rainbow stuff. I love rainbows, like neutral rainbows like that. Um, and then I got, I saw just these pencils. I get pencils all the time at Target. I literally, that's like, I have pencils and there are many erasers. But there's like the rainbows, stripes, and polka dots. I got two packs of these um, Colors of the World crayons. So like different colors. So everybody can be represented, which is awesome. Um, I got this pack of like food, organizi or food organizers. I was going to get like glass ones just because they're obviously better. Um, but those were $10 for 10 and the glass ones were five for 24 and I just am on a budget right now. So that's what I just decided to go with those. And then I picked up just this, um, smoked chicken sausage. It's jalapeno and cheddar cheese. So I have a plan for that to cook something for, um, this week of school. That's why I got those containers. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It's around noon. I slept very late today, but I am on my way to get some groceries. I am going to stop at Starbucks first and then 
I'm going to run by the Dollar Tree um, just to look because I saw something on Instagram and I want to see if they had it. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm going to run first and then I'm going to go to all these. Hey guys, I just got out of the Dollar Tree. They didn't have what I wanted. What I saw on Instagram was just literally plain black border. Um, and it was like a dollar. So I wanted to get a couple packs of those to have just some plain black border. But they only had like green and red plain colors. So that was kind of annoying. But what I did get was two of these um, like block, like Lego type base plates. I saw a sight word activity that we could do with these and we're gonna have a sight word center. So I thought these would be really good for them. And then I picked up two of these building block pieces for each um, block base. And then what we're gonna do is print out the cards that have like the sight words on them and it kind of shows how to build them with the Legos. So I'm gonna have to look for that and print those out. I think it was a TPT resource. And then I got two coloring books. So I got trucks and things that go and this has like some coloring pages and then like activity pages. So I just thought for a dollar it was good. It has like motorcycles. Uh, submarines, just all kinds of trucks and things that go. So I thought this would be good for students that like trucks, like vehicles, stuff like that, airplanes, all kinds of goodies like that. And then this is a, um, a coloring book of like, it says unique creatures. So it's like all kinds of creatures that are made into unicorns. So there's a panda bear with the unicorn. So I just thought this one would be good for students that like um, unicorns or just animals in general. So we are planning on having like, we have an, a time like in our day that's for, um, we have a time in our day that is for uh, like play t playstations basically. So we wanted to have like kind of like a creation station as one of them. Um, so I got these, I thought these were pretty cool. So we're gonna have like coloring pages there. And then I saw these, which I thought were pretty cool. They are plastic rubbing plates. So you lay a sheet of paper on the top and then color it with a crayon. Um, and then you get like the shape of it. So this one was seashells and then this one was flowers. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I think that they might only fit. And then to store that Lego stuff in, I just got two of these uh, Tupperware things. And then as well for the creation station, I just got these act two of these activity trays. I just thought these would be good to hold like their crayons and stuff like that, that they um, are using for the creation station. Or if we ever get out paint for the creation, creation station, um, that would be good for that. So I'm gonna go get Starbucks now and then hit up Aldi's and go back to Colin's house. And then I'll have to like put everything away and get ready to leave. But I will talk to you guys later.